So in the last video, you're all like, what is up with that red mark? I'm about to tell you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella Hibbs. For those of you who don't know, my day job is a casting director. So I'm starting a whole new YouTube series, a little bit about into the world of a casting director. So my last video was about the casting process. So if you haven't already watched that, I'll link it up here and you can check it out. Today, we're gonna to be talking about taking your mark in an audition room. So y'all know what time it is first. We gotta get some coffee up in here. Okay, y'all, we are ready to rock and roll now that we got our caffeine and we are fully caffeinated. So today we are talking about taking your mark in an audition. 99.9% .9 of the time, a mark is going to be directly in front of the camera so that way they can film you. Most of the time you're gonna see either an X or a T taped on the ground and that is simply where you stand for your audition. So at our office, of course, cause we gotta <laughs> break the rules and shake it up. We actually have a circle and you might be thinking, okay, Bella, why are you trying to be extra? Why are you trying to be different? Well, let me explain, because there's actually some logic behind it. Let me explain why I'm not a huge fan of an X or a T as a mark. So an actor is gonna come up and they're gonna stand right on it. And then they get really tense and rigid because they're so concerned about staying on this little tiny mark. Same thing when you go over to the T. People are gonna line their feet up just perfectly with that T, almost as if they're gonna tee off for a round of golf. Again, their body gets really tight and rigid, and that might not be the correct character choice, and it might even make you look like a nervous actor. Let me show you, though, why. I like, at our office, we have a circle. It's not a trap door, I promise. Or is it? <laughs> so we have a circle at our office. That way, when an actor comes, you have a little bit of room to move around. Now granted, you can't step off your mark because you might move out um, of the lighting, but you have a little bit of room to play around. You know, we don't always have direct eye contact with our conversations with people, so maybe, you know, or maybe you're playing a cop and you got that real wide stance. Um, you know, there's just, you have a lot more room to move around and feel a little bit more comfortable versus this like strict, very tall, uh, military type pose, right? You can move around, you can relax a little bit, you can be a part of your character, whatever, however your character stands, right? <laughs> now, not every office is going to have a circle. So if you don't have a circle, that's okay. What you're going to do is imagine there's a little mini invisible circle around whether your X or your T. That way you're on your mark, you are. But maybe you're more in character. Maybe your character pops their hip. Again, maybe they stand really wide. Uh, maybe they are really shy and nervous, depending on your character. So just imagine that you have, you know, like a little mini circle around your mark. So I'm gonna show you some funny spoofs about people who maybe they're just not actors yet. Maybe they're not a trained professional actor yet and they come into our audition and they don't even know what a mark is. Okay, I'm gonna have you take your mark. Yep, yep. Oh, no, that, that was your mark. <laughs> Okay, go on and take your mark. No, just stand right on this. No, no, stand on the circle. Yeah, mm-hmm, that circle. Yep, yep, right there. Nope, ah, both feet. You, you can stand on it. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna have you take your, okay. Um, nope, that was your mark, so why don't you stand, just stand right on it. Right on it, right, yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not a trap door, I promise. <laughs> promise it's not. I lied now let me say I normally wouldn't suggest wearing these types of earrings in an audition they could become very distracting but we are still during the COVID-19 stay at home order and well I am dreaming of a tropical vacation so before I close out this video there are a couple more things I want to talk about so the casting cues now every casting office is a little different. Now, I kind of wish that we could all come to a consensus and just use one standard form of cues. You know, we have these organizations that um, are supposed to govern and help casting directors, but they don't actually set any rules. So I'm starting a new initiative, hashtag casting cues. Let's use it. Let's figure it out. Let's come to a consensus. At our office, we like to say, stand by, action, cut. Stand by means get ready. Action means go, cut means stop. Pretty basic. Now some offices just say, whenever you're ready, um, take, take a moment, take a beat. Sometimes they just point at you. Sometimes you're just supposed to go and magically know what the casting director's thinking. 
I personally think that standby, action, and cut is the most simple, straightforward for actors. There's no guessing in it. You stand by, you go, you stop. So let's use the hashtag, casting cues, and make it a thing. So let me know what your local casting directors do down in the comment section below. Do they say standby, action, cut? Do they point? Do they just say go whenever you're ready? Um, and tell me, do you all like standby, action, cut? Again, hashtag casting cues. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed another video about casting and the casting process. Again, I'm kind of that casting director who breaks the mold. I am. I don't know. Uh, my mom, Faith Hibbs Clark, who is the original owner of Good Faith Casting, she just started as a casting director and she didn't mentor or apprentice uh, with anybody. So she came up with things on her own um, and because she thinks very logically and I am that way too, I'm a logical thinker. I don't just accept the status quo, I ask, but why? So that's why we don't use an X or a T in our audition room and why we use a circle. That way you can be more comfortable and in character. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week.